In today's episode, let's read something from a research paper. The title says Incense and Incense Sticks Types, Components, Origin and Their Religious Beliefs and Importance Among Different Religions. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense quotient. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. So we have something, with, you know, we have this paper written by four, four, five people. So it's Virendra Kumar Yadav, Nisha Chaudhary, Samreen Hina Khan, Ariba Khayal, Raman Kumar Ravi, Pankaj Kumar, Shreya Modi and G. Gyanamurti. So uh, these people have written this research paper which says incense and incense takes types, components, origin and their religious beliefs and importance among different religions. So you might, before we start, uh, you know, with the episode, you might just want to treat this episode as a podcast and grab your favorite beverage and snacks and just relax while I give you company. So, uh, so I do not know how to share the paper in the description. So I'll just mention the title. And if you, in case you want to read the whole paper, because it's a 21 page paper, I'll only be reading bits and parts of it. So if you want to read the entire paper, you might just want to, you know, that, uh, look up for that title in Google. And you might get the PDF so you can download it and read it for yourself. So it says, incensing or incense stick burning is an ancient tradition during different rituals in almost every religion. Earlier, it was used explicitly for divine purposes only. However, with the advancement of time, it is being used for secondary purposes such as air fresheners and insect repellent. Incense sticks burning holds an important place in Hinduism, Christianity, Buddhism and Islam. All religions have their own belief behind the usage of incense sticks. People from different countries use incense of different sizes and flavors at various occasions. The tradition of incensing and incense stick burning is not new to our society. People have used incense sticks since ancient times on different occasions in different forms. The passing time has brought various changes in the ingredients, functionality, manufacturing and burning methods of the incense sticks. Today, the incense sticks are not only limited to fragrance purposes, but also used as air fresheners and insect repellent. All religions have their own beliefs for the usage of incense sticks. The introduction says, Incense is an aromatic biotic material that releases fragrant smoke on burning. Incense is accessible in different shapes and sizes around the globe. The incense is usually made up of fragrant materials combined with a flammable binding material. There are several materials which are used from ancient times either in combination or alone for incense. Such types of materials are aromatic woods, herbs, resins and essential oils. It was especially used to eliminate the bad odor, negative energy from the surroundings and filled with positive energy. Moreover, it was also used for worshipping the deity in different religions around the world. Nowadays, it is being used as an insect repellent, that is mosquito repellent, meditation and for aromatherapy. The application of incense for deity purposes is available in all the ancient literatures. Today, incense is used at all religious places, including churches, temples, mosques, and other religious places. The incensing is performed by burning the incense material in different forms, like powder, rope, coil, paper, etc., and different perfumes. Today, incense and incense sticks market are spread around the world, the major countries that uses and exports incense and incense sticks are USA, Brazil, China and India. The market of China and India has increased drastically in the last few years due to high demand and production inside and outside their countries. Different religions have different beliefs for burning of incense and incense sticks and incensing at all the events have become a common practice. There are several literatures which suggest the origin of incense and incense sticks either from China, India or Egypt, though their use is mentioned in all the religious books of all the religions. 
here in the present review insight on the various forms of incense and incense sticks in the market has been provided here we have also tried to provide a vision on the beliefs about lighting the incense and incense sticks among different followers of religion we have also tried to put light on their composition and importance of origin so then it's it has uh, it says direct about indirect burning and direct burning of incenses and then we write we read about ancient century the emergence of the incense sticks could be attributed to the burning of aromatic wood since achieved by mankind these fragrant incense sticks played a vital role in regular rituals and became more religious in most of the popular world's religions incense has performed a key role the ancient religions linked the natural world with their gods it was claimed that fragrant plant materials forced demons away and allowed the gods to come on earth they also had the realistic application of exhaling unpleasant smell the old testament the vedas and several other ancient books document the consumption of incense sticks incense sticks have been extensively found in various worship places in prehistoric times such as churches monasteries mosques and temples during celebrations ceremonies and several everyday rituals in which it is said to worship ancestors the hindus buddhists taoists and shinto religion everyone use incense incense has been commonly seen in countries namely greece japan egypt china and india throughout the prehistoric days different countries have different beliefs about the incense usage in other places purposes and events for instance in india the incense stick usage includes worshiping the deity as it is considered a valuable greeting to the idol in addition it is often assumed that the burning of incense as well as sticks of incense occupies the environment with divinity which would be a tool for comfort and pureness of the mind in molds and burn in designs the egyptians used to manufacture cosmetics and perfumes of incense combined with oils or unguents and mixed fresh herbs assumed to deliver better prosperity during prayers and ceremonies to visualize the gods the babylonians used incense their preferences were resins from cypress oak and pine trees while exorcisms and for rehabilitation they often depended on incense Before the Babylonian exile they introduced incense into Israel and since both during the exile incense has been part of ancient Jewish worship in order to scare away spirits and to satisfy the gods both the Romans and Greeks employed incense the ancient Greeks practiced many sacrificial rites and gradually started supplementing live offerings for the burning of incense In South Asian countries such as Japan, China and Burma, incense as well as sticks of incense have a specialized purpose. The custom of incense in Japan involved specific racks to hold kimonos so that the smoke from burning incense could penetrate these folds of clothing. The side view mirrors have also been immersed in incense fumes to subtly smell the fur. clocks were created of sticks and incense various scents from the sticks alerted those monitoring the time of the shifting hours incense was also used by the chinese for different purposes namely scenting clothing fumigating books to eliminate bookworms and scenting inks and documents sometimes the fan and import from china from japan into china was made with sandalwood forming the ribs so the movement of the fan would disperse the wood's fragrance further the western catholic church and the eastern orthodox church employed incense in services and ceremonies during christianity incense has often been introduced more intensively in eastern services incense takes and religious beliefs in different religions Since ancient times the incense burning and incense sticks is practiced by every religion and this custom is followed even today. In the world of technology companies have also started various modified incense sticks in terms of aroma, flavor, length or e-incense sticks. Numerous companies have also come up with new incense ash collectors. 
From all the evidence, it is concluded that incense and incense sticks find a unique role in every religion that has been discussed in present review. Hinduism In Indian culture, incense sticks is recognized with lots of importance. All religions within India use incense for worship purposes. The natural aromas of the incense can help to improve the mood and allow our minds to focus. It holds specific importance within Hinduism as incense sticks has been considered a vital part of any Hindu custom. As in Hindu faith, no prayer session is properly accomplished despite using these soothing fragrance sticks. All Hindus are all familiar with the divine fragrances of the incense sticks. The ritual of burning incense is incredibly symbolic in Hinduism. Incense has now become an aroma that is synonymous with Indian culture. The brightly colored sticks and infatuating scents can be found all over the country from temples to households. During the ceremonies, the stick of incense is ignited to expel the unpleasant smell from the air. It provides an ideal environment for promising habits by emitting a pleasant scent in the air. When they emit fumes, they also work as organic disinfectants. It has some psychological advantages also, as the incense sticks fragrance has a healing power that soothingly has a positive effect on the mind. The calming impact relaxes the brain and aids in performing rituals with a better concentration in the prayers which are offered with a calm mind that acts as a meditation process. The worshippers also display their reverence for the Panchabhut, namely earth, water, fire, air and space by lighting the spiritual stick. Bamboo and bamboo sticks are not, not found appropriate in Hinduism and are seldom used to produce incense sticks. The bamboo method originated in India even as they do not use a bamboo core is distinguished from Nepal, Tibet and Japanese stick making methods. Though the technique is employed in the West, particularly in America, it is strongly associated with India. Incense has its spiritual values. This custom indicates the human virtue of giving up oneself for society. In Hinduism, the incense sticks are utilized as air fresheners amid typical days and an, integ and an integral part of every Hindu ceremony. Christians and before them Jews started incense sticks used as part of their religious practice. A popular view in the late 1800s strongly argued the use of incense sticks to cover smells and prevent disease. Modern theories suggest that incense re remembers a time of sacrifices, a part of religious expressions that symbolizes God's incorruptibility. The transformation of resin to smoke illustrates the change from the body to the soul. The act of insensation or crucifixion is an unspoken way to express the blessings of God which comes upon them who approach him in the proper attitude of being unworthy of even raising eyes to heaven. Early Christian churches used incense during the Eucharistic ceremony in which it symbolized the ascent of the prayers of the faithful and merits of the saints. Later, incense was employed sporadically in the Church of England and used during divine worship and processions have been continued. Incense has been used by many Christian gatherings since ancient times, especially in the Roman, Catholic and Eastern customary holy places, yet also in Anglican and Lutheran holy places. Incense sticks might be utilized in Christian worship at the Eucharist festival and at grave festivals of solemn celebrations, celebrations of the divine office, particularly at solemn vespers. Several incense formulations are presently utilized regularly with frankincense, myrrh, styrax and copal or different aromatics. The smoke of burning incense is seen by a considerable rot lot of the Roman, Catholic and Eastern Orthodox faith as an indication of faith prayer. By the 4th century AD, the early Christians had incorporated incense burning into their practices, particularly the Eucharist when the ascending smoke was thought to carry prayers to heaven. 
They use a thurible that is a kind of sensor for collecting the incense as it is burned. A server called a thurifer, sometimes helped by a boat bearer, approached the individual directing the administration with a thurible with burning charcoals. Incense is taken from what is known as a boat and is generally honored with a prayer. The thurible is then closed and accepted by its chain and swung towards the individual or thing being incensed. Grains of favored incense is put in the Easter flame and the mausoleum of blessed sacrificial stones. Importance of incense sticks and incense in Jews. Kitaret was the incense offered in the temple of Jerusalem and is stated in the book of Exodus as a mixture of state, stat, stati, onaika, galbanum and frankincense. And we have a lot more about, you know, Buddhism, Taoism, Shintoism, Islam and, you know, history of it in China and all of those things. So it's a long paper. And like I told you, in case you want to read the entire paper, you might just want to check out the description and, uh, you know, look up for the title in the at Google. Look up for the title in Google and then you might just find this. So let me just read the conclusion and we end this podcast here. It says... Burning of incense and incense sticks is a common practice across the whole globe. In different religions and parts of the world, incense and incense sticks are used in different forms that is varying from powder, cones, ropes, paper or sticks. Their size and shape might have varied in religion to religion and parts of the world, but the main aim was to worship the deity, elimination of bad energy and filling the environment with positive energy. While their recent modifications, they have been used as an incense repellent. From the religious literature, it has been found that incense and incense sticks were used from ancient times only. The present review highlights the importance of incense sticks in religious processes across the world. So that's what we had in the paper. It's a 21-page paper and you might just want to read the entire thing in case you're interested in it. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode and... uh, It was fun for you to know what an incense means in different parts of the world and in different religions. So if you have any comments, just let me know in the comment section below. And till we meet again next, take very good care of yourself. Namaste.